what type of point will this be? And what type of point will this be? The red one will be a solid. Very good. Full. And yes. Or full, yep. And then the, an open circle. That is the reason why I use the bracket to tell me that this is a full point. And I use a parenthesis to tell me that this is an open point. I'm hoping you're taking notes because I'm going to ask you to upload, right? At all points in time, please. Wait, can you go back just like for a minute? Yes, of course. Thank you. Any questions so far, anyone? Harish, is this okay? Um, yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm taking notes right now. All right, you're good. Thank you. Good. I haven't I heard from Jalen, Brian, Donovan. Calvin, are you with me? Yes, I'm here. Yeah, I'm here, Donovan. Okay. I would just like to say that I cannot see uh, the notes, so I, I'm not able to take any any notes because I, I cannot if, see any, anything. If you can you if you right click on her like on her square where those uh -huh. three dots are, you should be able to pin her like it should say like pin or something like that and it will stay up even when people talk thank you thank you and yeah. and in addition Perfect. it will be on the entire screen yes yes thank you is this better it is absolutely your, your screen was good it just his was said that when people yes. talked your screen yes. went away yes i said that and thank you so much but is everyone yeah. now okay yes i think okay very good so now we're going to graph this function so this is step three, one more time. Domain, step one, table of ordered pairs. Step two, always look for the x and y intercepts. Step three, graph, and step four will be the range. Okay, negative two for x, zero for y. Negative one for x, two for y. With a full point. Negative one, two. Finished. So I'm done with this color. I put it aside. I'm going to use a different color for the other one. Negative one, comma, four. As a full point, negative one, comma, four. Zero, comma, three. And three, comma, zero. And here it is. So what I was saying is you cannot extend the green graph to the left and you cannot extend the black graph to the right. This piece is only between negative infinity and negative one and the second graph is only between negative one and infinity. If they overlap this is terribly wrong. Is this clear now? So it would be a function, correct? Because yes. Because one is a circle, an open circle. Okay. Exactly. So at this point, there is only one value of the function, not two. So step number four is, so this is our function f of x. We need to identify the range for this. What will that be? Negative infinity, comma, hold on, one, two, two, uh, with the, br with the bracket and then the union with the parenthesis for to positive infinity with the parenthesis. So let's do this together. We start from negative infinity. Does it cross the function? Does this line cross the function? Does it? Yes. Good. Does it? Yes. Does yes. it? Does it? No, more than oh, that. No, no. 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 Does it? No. 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 So what is the range then? It's negative, negative infinity to 4. 
positive word. In bracket. Parentheses. Yes. Yeah. Because okay. it's an open point. Exactly. Good. So this is the way we deal with a piecewise defined function. Okay, I would like to, we only have a few, a few minutes left, so I will ask you to upload this. I would like to see it. So please do that. Even if it's the third upload right there, I just want to see what you have. So it doesn't matter which upload we pick as long as it's not that first upload, right? Yes, it doesn't matter, but I, I want you to upload the graph. I want to see the graph. So this is our upload. Just the graph? Just the graph. So just upload the graph? Just upload the graph, yes. I want to see what you have in your notes, not from the video. And the last thing I'd like to do for tonight is please give me two ordered pairs and let's find uh, the equation of a line passing through these two. Please give me two ordered pairs. You pick. I'm unable to upload this picture right now. I'm sorry. I don't have my computer on. I'm, I'm I've been on my phone, so I don't have my computer on. Good. That's fine. Upload what one, you need. So I can't upload the picture today. Um, one four. Hello. And Hello. negative two five. Excellent. So let me. Sorry that I have to mute you. So please unmute yourselves when you speak. Good. So in order to find the equation of the line, what do we need to find first? The slope. Good. And remember, it's rise over run, which is the change in y, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Label them, x1, y1, x2, y2, and tell me how to write the slope. Anyone? Macaulay, I haven't heard from you. Anyone? Change in y over the change in x. Yes. Sorry. So just say it. So it's 5. 5. Oh, it'll be, you're talking to me? Yes. Four, oh, yes. Okay. It'll be 5 minus 4 and negative 2 minus 1. Good. And that so, equals to 1 over negative 3. Very good. Awesome. So now, remember we have two options, either y equals mx plus b, or y minus y1 equals the slope times x minus x1. But we use this when we, we have an ordered pair like this. We don't have one. So there is no need to use this one. This is the y-intercept. So the slope will be negative one-third. Which point do you want to use? It doesn't matter because we used both points to determine the slope. It doesn't matter. If you use this and I use that, we'll get the same equation. So which point you would like to use? One and four. So one under x1, four under y1. And finally, the equation of the line would be y minus four equals negative one-third x minus one. And uh, I will distribute negative one-third x. So this is positive one-third times negative one. So this is one-third. And remember, we have to move negative four to the other side, which is positive four. OK, so what is the least common denominator here? So this is 4 over 1. Oh, 3. 3. And this one needs an adjustment of 3 because it started with 1. So 1 plus 12, 13. Don't ever let me um, hold you over.